It's Tardis Blue. I'm a Doctor Who fan. Perfect. <laughs> Love it. How's it going? We're good. Enjoying the con? Yeah. I mean, you know, the only thing we can see is when we walk around <laughs> between interviews and what have you, but uh, I haven't seen the floor and probably won't. <laughs> I met all the Disney princesses, which I was very excited about, including Moana, and the Little Mermaid, of course. And I also had the pleasure of um, getting proposed to by like... I saw that on Twitter. Ah! By like nine million Outlander men without their shirts on. So that was a new experience. It's a story. So now when they say what's your greatest fan in country, you go, uh, I don't even know what people fan, but... I got thrown into the fire and I went with it. <laughs> so can you talk about your characters in the show um, and, and the relationships that they have? Go ahead. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> Always. Um, I play Olivia Charity. She is an assassin. Um, she has an incredibly painful childhood, as we'll learn as the series goes on. Um, and it explains part of why she doesn't trust men, why she's so angry. Um, she's found a lot of compassion and friendship and also in, um, like, therapeutic healing in her relationship with Len. And the two of them together are very protective of the Midnighter. Well, protective of the town of Midnight and the other Midnighters. And I play Lemuel Bridger, who is the resident town vampire. Um, been around a couple hundred years and has, um, over the years, uh, been given the gift and the adaptation of the ability to leech energy uh, for his survival. So he doesn't actually need to feed on uh, blood to survive, and that allows him to live in midnight and to develop a relationship um, with someone living. It's a very sexy relationship. Human supernatural. It's, it's definitely different. I don't think anybody's seen anything quite like this. About so. what? The, well, About. he's a very special vampire because he leeches. So instead of uh, sucking blood to survive, he's able to suck energy. Tell them more about it. Right, so um, in, in, I think as you watch the episodes, at some point each of us, the, our backgrounds get explored a little bit more and you get to learn how we became the way we are. And with Lem, Lem actually at a certain stage was a regular vampire and something happened. And uh, so in subsequent episodes you will see what happened that made his eyes blue, that uh, turned him into the way he is. And so what he does is he can actually um, leech energy from living um, creatures and people. And depending on the severity of the leeching, it can be something uh, devastating, it could actually kill, or it could actually be essential experience, which is Healing. what he has uh, developed with Olivia. Um, with uh, true blood, those vampires had a very distinct way that yes. they were vampires, like they were modeled after snakes. Is there something similar with them? Um, or is it a different type this of This is, well, Lem is an unusual, like he is a, a, a very different um, vampire. I think there's less of the, there, there are times his fangs will show, yeah. um, but he doesn't show them all the time. And there's some brutal moments, oh, episode six. <laughs> oh, just hang on, guys, hang on. He also seems to have superhuman strength, is that true? Uh, yeah. yeah. I think he has sort of a lot of the, uh, the the typical vampire characteristics: speed, strength, um, longevity. Um, so I think you sort of he's recognizable as a vampire. But you're, you're going to meet a very different kind of supernatural. And I think you're supposed to find in Midnight the humans and the, and the uh, supernaturals are all a little bit different. Their stories aren't as obvious as you might think. Given that you've played a vampire, did you give him any tips? Now he's got this. He's got it down. Yeah. And actually, this is my second stint as a vampire. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you're from the land of Hammer Films. Did you did you like base your character off of any traits that you from previous previous works from over there? No. Well, yeah, yeah not 
really, this is really an adapt adaptation of the character that uh, Charlene Harris pieced together. So it was just more important for us to actually be true to the characters developed. Um, and, uh, and Monica, I feel our show creator, yeah. Monica Brain, I feel like she did an amazing job of understanding the heart and the assets of each character and casting that. So the characters may not look like the characters in the book, but the essence is there. And I think that's also what made it so exciting for each of us to work with the cast is like to see them come off the page and come to life. Uh, in seeing the pilot... Oh, oh sorry guys. Sorry guys. Thank you.